Hello, friends. This is Father Frank Pavone, National Director of Priests for Life, speaking to you on October 19th. Early, early this morning, a great pro-life hero passed away. His name was Pro-Life. He was a man uh, who uh, legally changed his name in 1987 because of his pro-life activism and his, his determination not to be ignored for his stand for the unborn, pro-life Andy Anderson. Uh, he was seen across the country at various pro-life events as I was beginning in my leadership capacity. I was privileged to stand with him on the streets of America from coast to coast. He spent a lot of time living in Reno, Nevada. Uh, and also in Savannah, Georgia. Pro-Life Anderson wore red socks uh, to symbolize the fact that we are all wading through the blood of the innocent that is flowing in our streets as thousands of babies are butchered each day in America. He, uh, he also served our nation in the Air Force uh, for two decades and received medals of commendation for that. But the greatest commendation is his unwavering stance for the unborn. A lot of people called him crazy. He stood there with placards. He, he had uh, bumper stickers literally covering his car from top to bottom. But if this man was crazy... I want to be crazy with him. And we often discuss the fact that we are crazy with love for our youngest brothers and sisters, the most unloved, unprotected members of the human family, the children in the womb. So I want to ask you to pray with me today for the eternal repose of pro-life Anderson. In thanksgiving for the example he gave, and in a common commitment to do what he did, make an unwavering, total commitment of our lives to saving the unborn from abortion, and to doing that no matter what people say to us or about us, because there truly is no more important work on earth. Thank you for your example, and go to our website at priestforlife.org for more information about what you can do to follow Pro-Life Anderson's example. Take care.